Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 25th through the 31st. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. The overall energy for the reading, the tower, um, change coming in. I'm not sure if it's good or bad quite yet. In my book, the tower is never bad. It comes in as looking bad as fuck. But then the end result of it is change. And change is always um, a good thing, even though we don't necessarily want it. Because nah, we're humans and yeah. Uh, but we'll we'll get there. We'll see what this is about but i see something happening uh drastically here in the recent past you get the seven of pentacles the hangman the knight of wands now there is you um there's you <sighs> this could be in regards to work you could have started a project or started something on your own let's say this is just an example right uh that feels like it was kind of stagnating but how do I explain this? It looks like it would have worked out, but for some reason it was stagnating at some point. And there's you taking action towards it. Like, okay, let's get this thing moving. Because it's not working out. It's not. It's just, no. Um, doesn't have to be work. It could be in regards to anything. But I see a sense of stagnation in a situation that's tied up to you. And you just coming in and being like, okay, chop, chop, let's move. Let's make this move. You know? Um... In the current situation, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Six of Cups. There's a soul connection here. Uh, you might be carrying a lot of pain when it comes to this connection. However, you still want for it to bloom, to be like, okay, this has to happen. Um, there's a sense of a brand new beginning here that you might be seeking, despite the pain. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords. There's... Um, you hanging on to a self-entrapment kind of energy, which means you're stuck in your head. Your thoughts are kind of taken over, and this is self-imposed energy, by the way. We can get rid of this once we become the absorber of the thoughts. That's the first step into being like, well, hold on, is that really me, or is that me thinking that something is happening? Um, and you're kind of stubbornly hanging on to this energy of... I'll just get stuck in my head and I'll let my thoughts take over because, you know, it's just, why not? Um, and it's about you walking away from something. And when this comes up like this, this is showing me it's coming out of uh, some sort of a fear that you may have in regards to something. Um, that's when we get all stuck in our head about things. All right, let's clarify. Let me clarify the tower. The Four of Swords, the Sun, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, now this is beautiful energy here, actually. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of... <sighs> there's this aspect of you healing this beautiful, beautiful energy of stability, of happiness. Um... Now, I'm not sure if you're sharing this with somebody here with the Ten of Pentacles, but it's the idea of you healing yourself in that aspect of what do I need to be happy? What is going to make me happy? What is going to make me fall into this energy of stability? How do I create that for myself? There's a lot of healing around that for you. Um, now, this tower might be coming in. When you get to a place of healing, a lot of healing you're putting on yourself, right? And you do it and you're doing all of these things for yourself. And you're, you're starting to really feel that you're in that 
great place for yourself, right? Uh, the universe is gonna, the universe has a funny sense of humor, a pretty funny one. Um, the universe is gonna test you basically. So you might get challenges along the way. Like, let's say, uh, let, let's see, Aries, did you heal this? Let's throw you a challenge. Let's see how you're gonna take it. Are you gonna do the same thing as you did your whole life or have you learned something? Have you healed something where you're gonna act different? You know, in the same circumstance that I'm sending you that you had to deal with 10 years ago in your life. Cause that's, I mean, I see the tower as pretty much the universe's sense of humor, basically, uh, which is not that great when you're in the middle of it, but that's how it happens usually. Let me clarify the hangman in the recent past. Let's see what was stagnating. The star, the four of pentacles, the temperance card. Interesting. Something that you really, really wanted to happen. Something that you wished for. Come on, boy. Let it all out. There it is. Okay. Uh, my, my dog was coughing or trying to. Um, the star is something, something or someone, right? There's this energy of you truly desiring this, whatever that was, right? And you weren't letting, you weren't letting this go. You weren't going to let this go at all. It was just, nothing was moving in that direction. Nothing was happening. Things were stagnating. So it's, it, it, it could be that you came up 10 years ago with, I really want to, um, I don't know. Why does nothing come to mind? Write a book. Um, and nothing was happening like you may have uh, written some notes written some but you weren't getting in that place of okay today is the day i'm gonna start writing this damn book you really wished for it but it was never like because i see a very long period of time here of you wanting this situation but nothing happening in it and there you are with the knight of wands taking action towards it of course this could be a person like you really could have liked uh, your high school sweetheart and now you're 60 and it's like uh i still have some emotions there i know dumb examples but um could be a person could be something else Ooh, holy shit for the Knight of Wands, you get the Six of Cups, the Lovers, the Three of Swords. Hmm. Why am I getting two different energies here in the Six of Cups and the Lovers? Uh, okay, so two connections possibly. One that hurt the shit out of you here with the lovers and the three of swords there's a big ass painful situation there and one where you might be going uh towards another soul connection here which i see you doing the other connection might be tied up to the star which was stagnating nothing was happening there was a lot of pain involved there was nothing really moving i do see you moving in the direction of this other one though Roles can be reversed. This could be somebody attached to you, of course. Uh, let's do the Ace of Pentacles in the current situation. The Justice card, the Five of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. All right. You want to... You want to bring things to some sort of a balance here uh, with somebody. I feel like... Um, there's a sense of, there's a sense of mm, things not working out in that direction. And when that happens, that shows me that you may have expectations here around that. So you might want things to show up in this way. And if they don't show up exactly in that way, then it's a sense of, oh, what the fuck? No, I didn't want this. Well, okay, but what kind of energy do you want out of it? Because I see a sense of balance. Now... Do you want a sense of balance according to you? Or do you just want a sense of balance according to the actual energy? Because if you want it according to you, then yes, you're going to get disappointed. 
um, but I see a change in this energy of yours, you know, in, in your approach towards this. Um, all you got to do is release expectations, you know, and I know easier said than done, but it's not impossible. Um, so I see you kind of changing your perspective here. Let me see the three of swords in the current situation. Two of wands, ace of swords, four of cups again. God damn it. There's a lot of unhappiness surrounding a particular situation for you. A lot of... There's a little bit of victim mode in there. I gotta say it as I see it. Um, and there's a lot of... Because mm, it didn't happen my way. So I'm going to be upset about it. Again, release control, release expectation. That's all I can tell you from what I can see in this energy. Because uh, hanging on to all of that is creating a lot of um, unhappiness for yourself. You know, there, you can't control circumstances outside yourself. You can control how to how you react to them, yes. Not what happens outside of yourself. And because you're not quite grasping that concept, you're hurting yourself a lot by expecting something from this. That's not necessarily gonna happen now. I feel like there's a sense of waiting. Um, sense of you wanting to approach a situation but at the same time but I gotta wait and either accept that or you're gonna live in the sense of discontent you know let me clarify the six of cups in the current situation seven of wands seven of swords eight of pentacles all right there's a soul connection in your life I don't see you necessarily interested in it. I don't see you necessarily... It's coming in weird. It's coming in as you giving it energy, but at the same time, at a soul level, you're actually disconnected from it. Um, you're, you're not really... You're actually kind of pushing it away from you, you know? Um, but at the same time, I'm seeing you still in there, still putting in energy and effort. So I don't know what this, this this could be any kind of relationship, soul connections can be friends, family, whatever. So I see you out of it, energetically wise, uh, physically wise, you're still in there for some reason. Let me see the four of pentacles in the immediate future. Six of swords, the strength card, the ace of cups. Ooh, stubbornness. Stubbornness is being let go of on your side. And it's a hard task for you, but you're doing it. And when that happens, love shows up in your life. Because you're creating this wall against you by hanging on to things. It's got to be this way. It's got to be that way. It's got to be... Mm. And you're hanging on to stuff out of fear. And the moment you release that, you release that goddamn wall you're creating around you. And then all of this beautiful energy is going to come your way. Because you're going to invite it in, basically. Um, let me clarify the Eight of Swords in the immediate future. The Magician, the Queen of Swords, the Emperor. There you are. It's coming in again. The energy of trying to control things. I gotta do it this way. And they gotta do it this way. Otherwise, screw it. And then that's gonna confuse the hell out of you again. Because I see you releasing control. And then learning from that. But because you've done this for most of your, your life, basically, it's going to keep on trying to come in. But this is who I am. Uh, you can be somebody else and no, this is not who you are. Because um, it's leading you straight into a trap of the mind. It's not, if that led you into your heart, I would have said, yeah, that's you. But it's leading you into this trap. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords. Three of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands. All right, you're tired of waiting, tired of waiting. It's like you want to take action towards something, and the more you wait, the more you're sitting in this pain. 
uh, and you're done. You you don't want to be waiting anymore. I don't see you necessarily walking away completely from this energy, so I feel like you will revisit this waiting game. Uh, but it's one of those energies that comes in as, screw this, I'm out, I don't want this, bye. A week later, it's like, oh shit, here I go again. You know, it's kind of coming coming in like that. So I don't know what this is. Um, to you. Let me see what the universe has for you. There's a struggle here of releasing control for you, Aries. Definitely. Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Two of Cups. See? Such a different energy that's coming in from the universe. When you listen to your intuition, when you release that goddamn control, when you don't have expectations anymore, when you follow your intuition, love is coming in so beautifully, is floating into your life like no tomorrow. And I feel like you are experiencing this at times. It shows up in your readings. But you have such a grasp on, but I want it like this, and I want it tomorrow, and I want it at the exact time that I want it at doesn't really work like that when we accept that poof so that's what i have for yuri's hope this helped and i'll see you next time